There is yet another Ubuntu-based distribution that has been released into the wild. This one features the new Cinnamon version 1.8, and I am looking at Snow Linux 4, Frosty, right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. I just installed this in my virtual machine, and I figured I'd have a little look at this and uh, see what kind of things that Frosty brings to the table here. Now, according to their website, this is running the latest Mint 1.8. This also has uh, the Linux kernel 3.8. It's based on Ubuntu 13.02, which was clearly evident when I ran the installer because uh, the the dialogues in the installer and the slideshow looked like Ubuntu, plain and simple. Okay, but this is what you get. We're looking at the desktop right here. And, of course, we have this push-to-start wallpaper. Um, geez. Um, okay. I can see it says menu, and I can see the icon there. <laughs> Let's change this wallpaper, shall we? So we'll right-click on the uh, desktop here, change desktop background, and you will see they have a lovely assortment of wallpapers to choose from. So I guess we'll just stick with the main wallpaper because, well, we should. <laughs> so let's just go into all settings here. And uh, that's where you can choose to change your background. Obviously, you'll have to load your own photos into this. And I think they wanted to keep this a little bit small on file size. But you can change your fonts. You can change your themes. And there are a number of cinnamon themes here to choose from already. But if you want to get more, you can select the Get More Online button and perform a search for them, and uh, you will even see that it lists them by ranking. And so, well, why don't we pick out Void here and install or update selected. Okay, it's installing. Okay, and now we go into installed and let's apply the thing. Okay, cool. I actually like that. Looks like uh, they kind of split up the bar here at the bottom. Okay, and it changed the appearance of the menu. Hmm, not too shabby. Okay, I can see why that got a high score. All right. Then there are some other settings here. You can uh, now, uh, this is something that the distribution touts. It has its own uh, Snow Linux metal theme. But, of course, you can change the controls to anything you like. Presently, your choices are Adwata. Ambiance, high contrast, which is, well, really ugly, but it is what it is. Radiance, and then we can go back to the snow uh, theme. Now, the icon set looks like Fianza, but actually, maybe they did their own tweaking to this to give it its, you know, because they've named it Snow Linux Metal. Um, but there are some other themes uh, for your icons here. Uh, you can also change the window borders. Number of those to choose from. You can change your mouse pointer. Hmm. It's not changing. Okay, well, it is what it is. And then, of course, you can uh, set different key bindings for this if you want to. You can have it show icons in menus or not, and show icons on buttons or not. Okay, and by the way, all of this is controlled by Cinnamon, if I'm not mistaken. All right, then uh, you can go into your uh, preferences where applets are concerned, and you can add or remove different applets to your panel. An issue I was having with 1.8 was 
that sometimes you couldn't uh, adjust um, the settings. Let's see if we can do that now. So by going into settings here and editing the panel mode, okay, now maybe we can adjust some settings. Okay, it doesn't give me an option to do that here. Looks like it just gives us the option to remove the applets. Maybe we look at one of these that's installed here. Let's see, okay, we can edit the menu now. Let's see if it'll give me the option to uh, make changes. Okay, and a la carte opens. So now we can hide items we really don't want in the menu, which is great. Uh, that's one thing that attracted me to Cinnamon for the short time that I was using it, is that I could customize the menu so that only the programs that I like to use the most were visible in the menus. Okay, at least that's working. Let's see if we can add an applet and see if I can remember which one that I had that was giving me a little trouble to see if that has been fixed. We could choose to get more online. And I suppose while we're waiting, I can just take this out of edit mode. All right, and you'll see uh, by ranking here, that we have a number of applets that we can add to our panel now. And of course, the larger the number, the higher the ranking. I think I was using window list with app grouping. That was giving me an issue, so let's go ahead and install that one. <laughs> it's the same issue I had here too. I had to go on the website and download it manually for the where the applets go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's see if there's any other ones that we can put in. Uh Okay, how about a system monitor applet? We'll install or update selected there. Ugh. Okay, so it looks like uh, Linux Mint uh, hasn't really, uh, you know, or, uh, yeah, Linux Mint who makes cinnamon. Well, so it kind of looks like that uh, we'll have to wait for some more updates to cinnamon to come out. Or, uh, this will actually grab these and install them for you. you gotta, looks like you still got to do this manually. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a quick look at what you get with this. So we'll click on our menu and do what the sign says, push to start. <laughs> in accessories, you get an archive manager. You also get uh, the... Um, Nemo File Manager. Let me show you this because I beefed it up a little bit. Uh, now with uh, Nemo, you know, you get these little uh, things that tell you how much drive space you have available. And then, of course, you have breadcrumbs. What I mean by breadcrumbs is you can easily click to get back. Or if you prefer to have the, uh, the name listed, you have that there. And, of course, uh, the Nemo. Uh, file browser supports GTK3 theming, so you can really do some beautiful stuff with this. All right, moving right along. You get a simple text editor. Um, help, the main menu, a screenshot, and then terminal. In administration, you get a simple firewall configuration utility, a software updater, system testing, the Ubuntu Software Center, and you can manage your user accounts. In graphics, you get a document viewer, LibreOffice Straw, Shotwell, and Simple Scan, Internet, Firefox, Pigeon, Thunderbird, and Transmission. You get the full LibreOffice suite 
with a document viewer as mentioned before. From here, you can manage all of your preferences, but you can also manage them just by simply right-clicking on your desktop, as I demonstrated at the beginning of the video, and you can get to uh, pretty much all of these settings that way. All right, in uh, sound and video, you get Prezero for making copy coasters, I mean burning CDs or DVDs, rhythm box, a sound recorder, and a video player. Okay, and then in system tools, you get um, Decomp Editor. Definitely handy if you're going to be doing any tweaking with this system. With Decomp Editor, you can tweak the uh, file manager to have additional functions, that sort of thing. Okay, a system monitor and a few other little tools here. And then, of course, quick launch to all of your places and uh, your recent files. Does this really bring anything exciting or new to the table here? Not really. But the thing is, it is a uh, nicely themed Ubuntu variant um, with a six-month life cycle uh, based on uh, the 13.04. Um, looks good, but not really anything that I would use myself. Mm -hmm.